Luke, many congratulations. The defence of your title continues. Fair to say that you won all the big key battles in this contest. Yeah, I did. I think Ricardo played a fantastic game there. It was a, it was a good battle. I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, the, I think the, the key moment was the, the 180 and the 130. You know, that changed the game massively. And uh, you know, I love playing Ricardo, and he loves playing with me. We always have epic games. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy playing him. He's, he's a fantastic guy, and he played really well. Special day as well. Obviously, we saw it's your son's mm -hmm. birthday, but you went home. Was that potentially a risk to break your your, your routine, and and it, and it could have gone wrong? 100%. It is a risk, and it, it does a break. It is a break of routine, but for me. Being with my son on his birthday is more important than if I don't win tonight. You know, it's more important for me. I, I love my family. I love them more than darts, to be honest. And uh, you know, I would, took the risk. You know, in a way, but I didn't think it was going to affect me too much. But yeah, I just wanted to be there for his birthday, to be honest. And I was there. I come here today, and you know, luckily I got the job done. It was all around a good day. You seem to be growing in confidence as well. That ran one a little bit nervy, but tonight you mm. looked more yourself we saw celebrations when it mattered and those big moments do you feel that you're growing into this tournament yeah I do but I also don't think like I'm, I don't feel like I'm playing my my natural self you know the couple of first starts that go in really lovely then I'm not following them up so you know there's a lot of improvement to come from my game if I want to win this title that has to happen especially in the next game um, you know I've had two great tests now so you know it's up to me to, to come back on Friday and really make it happen and you know, if I don't, then it'll be, I'll be, it'll be lights out and I'll be gone. So it's up to me now to improve in the back end of the tournament. So if I don't, then I'll be out. If you look at the draws and everything like that, we see the other big names all, all falling away. Is that something that you take any notice of? Um, I mean, I, I love darts, so I watch it anyway. But of course, you know, you can't think, oh, glad he's out because, you know, you might be playing him. That's a better draw. But if you'd have you know, looked on paper, you probably would have preferred Prochetsko than Barney, but I think Prochetsko probably would have played better than Barney did. That's, you know, that's why I've, I learned that many, many years ago, and I used to think I'd rather play you than that, and then all of a sudden that person would play unbelievable, and you'd think, it doesn't matter, does it? You know, so yeah, I don't really, really look into who you're going to play, be playing in the future. All I know is whoever I got next round, and it's going to be an incredibly tough game. There's no easy game from, from this moment on. Congratulations. Thank you, Phil. Luke, you're into your ninth consecutive major ranking quarter final. What do you feel the key is to that remarkable consistency? I just think working hard and dedication, to be fair. Do you feel like there's a lot more in the locker? Obviously, you've played fantastically well, but do you feel there's more levels to go through? 100%. This is this is when I play my best stuff, so if I work hard, I'll be able to reap the rewards. And the last time you lost two times, you've beaten Ricardo in, in major ranking tournaments. You've gone on to win them World Championship and match play. Feel that that bodes well. I oh, hopefully it's a good omen. I think that that's something that's worked well for me. Hopefully it carries on. Thank you. Luke, the, the game against Ricardo at the, goal, at the Worlds was a, a major tide turner. Uh, big, it felt like a big moment in that tournament. And do you think about that at all when you're playing players that have been at big moments of your career? Uh, not particularly. I think I just think moments like that do make you stronger as a player. I do. I think they make you stronger as a player. I've had so many experiences over the last 12 months. Like, let's go back to last year when the Peter Wright game, and then the Gary Ensign game, and the Grand Slam, and then the, the Michael Van Gogh game with the players, and then the, the Joe Cullen and the Protection game in the Worlds. You know, all these games that, that you win and then go and win the title, they just make you a stronger player. So I feel like they do make you stronger, to be honest. But, uh, you know, if. If I don't keep winning these games and keep scraping through, I won't be in the tournament, but I am. I'm still here, so hopefully I can start playing a lot better. A couple of major players have gone out of the tournament. Michael Van Gogh, mm. obviously, last night beaten by Daryl Gurney and, and Luke Little are defeated um, by Rob Cross. Many would see them as probably your two nearest rivals in this tournament. What's your sort of reaction to them going Yeah, I mean, that's fair to say, isn't it? They're the two best players in, in the, on the tour. I think it's fair to say me, Michael and Luke are the best three players consistently at the moment doesn't mean we are the best three there's many many players behind that you know Rob Cross uh, Michael Smith let's not forget Gary Anson who, who had some lovely words to say about me yesterday I heard I didn't I didn't know what he said but thank you Gary I really appreciate whatever he said I don't know I don't tend to look into it to be honest but my girlfriend just said Gary said some lovely things about me so when when, when a legend of the game and you know, someone who you looked up to for so many years says nice things about you. It makes you feel good inside. But I might have to watch back what he said. I don't know what he said, but uh, yeah, it's a really nice feeling for someone such amazing as Gary to to, to big me up. That that's really lovely. And uh, you know, I respect him a lot because he's a legend of the game. And uh, maybe he doesn't get the respect he deserves because he's such a great player and achieves so much. And 
you know, for me, I think he, in my eyes, he's the, he's top. I think he's the best player in the world, if I'm honest. If I'm being honest, yeah, I think you know, easy for me to sit here and say I am, but I think if you're going on stats and, and potential, I think Garen's the best player in the world right now. But you know, I'll do my best to. to hopefully, I'm even the final because that'd be a dream for me. Thank you. Thank you. Luke, you mentioned those battles with Ricardo, European Tour, Match Play, World Championship. Do you feel like players are really raising their game when it's you on the hockey because he's put in some incredible performances against you? Yeah, I agree. I think every time I played him, he's played really well. I think anything was the World Championships, he fell off, didn't he, a little bit when I was coming back. But apart from that, you know, we, we had the match play game, which was a brilliant one. Uh, the European Tour, which he, he played absolutely incredible and blew me away. And then today it was a really, really tight, tight, close game. So, um, yeah, I just think, you know, people do raise your game and it's, it's not frustrating, but it makes you have to work harder, and it does work, give you a workout. And obviously, you know you have to work harder to win these games. But yeah, it's, you know I really respect him. I think he's a great player. I just said to him, you know, it's nice to see that you recovered from your your wrist injury, and you're not here playing half hard. He was able to play back back to his best, and uh, you know that's good for him. To be honest, I'm really really pleased that he, you know he feels good again. It was a really crucial 310 that you took out in six starts. Is that the difference between you elite guys and maybe the guys just below? Which can all put in big averages, but just in those key moments, is that where champions are made, like you last year? Yeah, yeah it can be, but of course anybody can do that. You know, I'm not the one of them players that seems to do it all the time. There's lots of players that do that, but um, yeah, they do change the game a lot. You know, that, that that third set was right in the balance, and then for me, when I did take the, hit, the, I thought I think the leg, was, I felt the leg was gone when I hit the 180. I thought I can't remember if he missed or whatever. And then when it hit the 130, it really does hurt you as a player when someone does that against you. So, yeah, that was definitely a tight turn. It worked in my favour. And, you know, the last set, I, I worked incredibly hard to win it. So, But it was a great game. I thought it was a closely contested game. I didn't play at my best. I still feel there's levels to come. But it's up to me to do to, to bring that out and, you know, and play better. A few days ago, you told us that the throw is not quite as smooth as it has been mm. in the past practice not been going the best mm. how did it feel tonight in practice and on there on the stage in practice it felt really really good but up on the stage it didn't feel my best whereas Monday practice weren't great felt amazing on the stage I think that's just darts you know some days you walk up there and you feel a million dollars one you know you walk up the next day and you feel like 99p it's just <laughs> crazy but uh, yeah you know I'm, I'm a hard worker and, and I know that I'll work hard tomorrow coming in practice and Hopefully on Friday, you know, it's even better because I know that's what it has to be. I've got a tough game. So I, th I feel like when I know I have to play really, really well, I seem to come up to the task. But we'll see what happens on Friday. Hopefully I live up to that. Cheers, Luke. Thank you. Thank you very much. Luke, um, the comments what Gary said, it was off the back of, uh, and, and you've had this a million times, the comparisons with you and Luke later. I didn't, I just see the headline, I didn't read. I didn't, yeah, yeah. And, well, he, he basically just said how, uh, how we all agree as well, like you've been such a humble and spectacular world champion. And I made the comparison between you and Ky Kyron Wilson, who yeah. recently just came out and said that he thinks he deserves more credit than what he's been given, which Gary Anderson compared oh, to right. you. Um, obviously, you have been such a humble and spectacular world champion. How how have you been able to maintain that? Whereas people in other sports, when they haven't got the credit that they think is due, I, I kind of I don't know because I do feel like I've got a lot of credit. I do feel like, I don't feel like the media hasn't given me credit. I don't, I don't feel that. I don't think that any of you guys have not given me credit. I just think when you've got a superstar, it's hard not to. To go with that, and it, you know, he's grown. I mean, Luke has grown the sport to absolutely incredible levels, and you know, he's he's making the sport bigger for all of us. Let's be honest. So, you know, like I think I said in an interview a couple of months ago, but if I was 17, 18, and all the attention was on him and not me, then I'd be gutted because I was a young kid and I'd be thinking I want all this. But I'm I'm an older guy now. I'm 29 today. I just want to win titles. That's all I care about. And uh, you know, Luke Luke is fantastic, and you know, I really get on well with him and. You know, he's just a different talent, and he's 17 years old and, and one of the best players in the world. It's an incredible feat. It's something that doesn't happen, not just in darts, but any sport. So I can see why the media attention is on him. Maybe I deserve a bit more. Maybe I deserve a bit more alongside with him. But uh, you know, the media attention he gets, he deserves, and that's no, you know, no, no disregard to that. Um, but I do think I do get a little bit of credit. I think it's it's not as bad as it seems. <laughs> Thank you very much.